Hello and welcome to Decadence for Beginners. And in this video what we're going to be talking about is how to get your music into Decadence. And the first thing you want to do is get some files into your library here. Now here I have three files showing and these three files are actually found on a folder within my hard drive. One thing I want to mention about these files though, if you take a look at the way they're named, I have my own personal naming convention here where I have this underscore 130 tacked on the end of the file name, and this just lets me know the beats per minute of the particular wave file, wave sample that I have. And it's a good idea if you're a DJ, if you have a big collection of music, to just go through your music and label it. Just know the beats per minute for your tracks. It's going to help you a whole lot when you're working with an application like Decadence. It's going to help you a lot as a DJ to know the tempo of all your songs. And it could be a time-consuming process for you, but in the long run, it's just going to make life so much easier for you. And you'll, you'll realize that later on anyway. In addition to that, I mean, even some of my melodic samples here, I have pitch information. So this is 130 beats per minute, and it's A-sharp minor. Little things like that can help you out if you're planning on doing some real-time remixing within Decadence 2. So file names, really important. The more information you can put in your file names, the more helpful they'll be for you as a DJ, just to give you that tip. But as I mentioned, these are samples that I have on my hard drive. They're contained within a folder. If you want to change your directory, you can click right up here and you can pick a new directory. Okay. Just browse to the folder you want to add to the list here and then click OK. And then you'll be able to change your directory here. In addition to that, we do have a playlist down here. You can load files up into a playlist. I can drag files from here into the playlist. So the library and the playlist are different things. Okay, the library gives me access to files to add to the playlist, but this isn't a playlist here. When I can drag these files into the playlist. Now, from the playlist, this is the list of songs that's going to play my DJ set. So if I have a whole list of songs here, we can even automate this whole process and this will play through the playlist of all the songs that I add here. And again, I can add them from my library here by clicking and dragging. I can also add from a, a folder directly from my hard drive. So this is a folder on my hard drive. If I wanted to, I can click and drag from my hard drive here. I can drag tracks one at a time by clicking and dragging. And I can select multiple tracks as well and drag them into the playlist. And then within here, we have an option. We can add files, browse to them here. If you want to do that, you can add an entire directory if you want to. So if I just click on that directory and hit OK, it's going to scan the entire directory and add all the songs in that directory into the playlist. So you have a lot of options, whatever you prefer to do. We can remove individual songs from the playlist by doing remove files here. And you also have the ability to go in here and you can use the arrow keys to go up and down in your playlist. And I'm going to go to the top of the playlist, actually. I'm going to click here. I'm going to hold shift and I'm just going to click on a group and you can just click here to remove the files. So that's how you would get your files into your library, into the playlist. And then to get things into Decadence, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with loading things up into a single track here. So I can drag from my library onto track A and that's going to load up the song into track A. And I can press play here. And there we have it. All right, it's as easy as that. But now what I want to do is go through and talk about what these functions are within the track, within the track window. And we're going to be sticking with one track for a while. And the reason for that is just simply because if we just right away jump in and try to start working with two tracks, you're going to be totally confused. And I do recommend if you're completely new to Decadence, learn how to use one track first. I mean, if you can't use one single track, you're not going to be able to use two. So if you're completely new to Decadence, get used to the functions and features in one track first. And then after that, if you want to start experimenting with two tracks loaded up in here, you can do that. All right. So right now I'm going to end this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to jump in and we're going to start talking about these features found within here.